Hello again. This is my video diary, installment number five. Now, um, today I want to talk about 200 plus Nigerian schoolgirls. In Nigeria, over 200 schoolgirls were kidnapped, abducted by Boko Haram, and threatened. It was threatened that they would sell them in the marketplace <laughs> at a very cheap price as wives because they had no right going to school. Excuse me. Now, um, this strikes a chord with me. I don't usually go for the sort of uh, hashtag, scam hashtag campaigns. But this does strike a chord. In, in my third year of secondary school, I missed a couple weeks of school, not because I was kidnapped, but it felt like I was held hostage in my life. My caregiver had immigrated, and I spent weeks out of school. Um, and it was a very despondent time. It was a very hopeless time. Um, for me, Education is priceless. I probably didn't um, appreciate mine as much as I should have when I had it, but at the moment now, in retrospect, I do regard it as something very, very precious. Uh, like Michelle Obama said, it, it, it's women's own route to independence. As women, we contribute something very, very unique to the world, and when things like this happen, so many children get kidnapped it feels like it's striking a blow at womanhood and that is something very very painful for me personally now although the circumstances between my experiences and whatever these children are going through right now you know god knows what they're going through right now and i i do pray for them i pray for their deliverance and the emancipation from this. But it is worthwhile drawing attention to the fact that we live in such a world. We live in a world where in certain parts of our earth it is, I mean some people believe they could behave in this manner with a certain amount of impunity to take young children, young females from school, abduct them and threaten to sell them like we were sold on the slave markets. You're making, I mean, they're making slaves of these girls. They, well, they, it's their intention to. God, well, I only hope that they don't get to do that. But that is what they're threatening. And it screams inequality, it screams, you know, so many awful things because, I mean, we were sold on the slave markets and that's something we talk about today, we rebel, oh, we rebel against today and for some children in an African country to be taken and their fate be decided by radicals where they're saying, oh, we're going to sell these girls on the market, that is just devastating. And um, I do want to speak out about it. I, over the years, I've looked at so many kidnapping cases. I, I always, these things always draw my attention because of my background and my upbringing. You know, although, like I said, I was never kidnapped, you know, or held hostage. But I have felt so many times that I've been hostage to my life and to the circumstances of my life. And it's, it's not been easy. So when I see these these events unfolding, I feel a certain affinity to the victims, although I do not consider myself a victim, because if I was a victim, I wouldn't be sitting here today. So today, I, uh, what I'm going to do is a poem called Angel. Little angel. Where are you? Only God knows what you're going through. 
only God knows the things that evil can do, but you never believe it could happen to you. Little angel, please come back. We need you here. We need you back. We need you whole and healed and new, even though we know the rest is true. The day that evil comes for you, it kills a little part of you. It fucks you up, it stifles you. If you can't be strong, it will twist you. Little angels around the world being taken because evil is bold, evil is tolerated, though evil is cold, so evil lives with us, populating our world, making our streets a less safe place to be. And even our homes, they enter violating our angel, violating me. Crime after crime, yet evil is rehabilitated. So many lives mutilated, so many souls suffocated, yet evil is tolerated. Little angels have human rights too to live the lives that they need to. They have no parole on the sentence of their abuse. They will always feel dirty when they think of it, no matter how much they spruce. Someone is waiting for a little angel to come back home. She just may come back, but she won't be coming back alone. You'll see him there behind her eyes. His name is etched upon her soul. And until she's strong enough to free herself, it will be his and his to own. Until she's strong enough to cut him off, she won't be coming home alone creating a strange and constant pain, becoming a constant familiar pain. When it comes, it pours, it floods with pain, a constant old familiar pain that will never leave your angel alone. This poem, Angel, I wrote years ago in um as as a reflex mechanism basically um when i saw when i read a few stories from the u.s about child abduction and i think it is relevant i mean a lot of people don't want to look at the darker aspects of it in that you know <laughs> she may be coming back but she won't be coming back alone it is true because when, um, from my experiences, I can say it's true because when you go through these things, when you've been made to be a subject to another person's will, and that person is an evil person, you carry the effects of that, th that evil that you've been subject to throughout your life until you can come to terms with it or expunge it or whatever whatever you can do to rid yourself of that specter because it is it is evil these people who do these things are evil they may think at some level it is righteous but it is evil to take innocence out of their comfort zone and subject them to to these evil ideas and and evil plans it is an evil you know so it doesn't just apply to these 200, over 200 Nigerian girls. It's a, it applies to the children who have been molested, the or raped, the people who have been sold in slavery whose plights are not 
number one on the news pages, it is for all of these victims. And majority of them are women, but there are also men as well who are subject to this abuse and I pray for them and I hope that they can come out of this and gain some victory over their plight. And I hope that this opens the eyes of the world so that they realize, you know, women are still subjugated to this sort of evil because we are deemed to be inferior for no reason. We are still deemed to be inferior. And as a woman, I really take on bridge with that. So I do pray and hope that they bring back our girls so that there are a few less angels out there in the world. Thank you.